Okay guys, it is time for a new update here on the Bitcoin price because in the last 24 hours we saw a massive run up here for Bitcoin right after we broke out of our falling wedge to the upside. Bitcoin is now trying to reach its price target. Everyone is turning extremely bullish and I can already tell you I am about to take massive actions on not only my short hedge position but also on my $400,000 Bitcoin long trade. I will show you exactly what the final price levels are that we now need to break to the upside and why we need to break them to the upside to be ensured that Bitcoin will at least reach price levels now in the near future of 50 to $55,000. So if you're interested in that, stick around till the very end of this video because I have some very interesting charts and information to share with you. Besides that, guys, the support within my last few videos is absolutely mind-blowing. My last video almost reached 2 thousand likes over 16,000 views within a day guys thank you so much for your support you are really one of the greatest communities out here in YouTube so I would really appreciate it if you could smash up a like again let's reach maybe the 2,000 likes even on today's video maybe it's a little bit too high but the thousand likes I'm very sure we can reach as always and also guys don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads and now let's not talk too much let's just jump right into the charts because as you guys know no. I am still in my $400,000 long position. I told you exactly at what price levels I will start scaling this long trade up. But I also told you in my last video that I opened a short hedge position. This short hedge posi position is actually on another Bybit account. I can show you this short hedge position in the next video. I will log it out of this account. So in the next video, you won't see the $400,000 long trade, but you will see the short trade. So I'm going to show you that in the next video, but I will tell you exactly where my stop loss is, where my entry price is, and so on and so on. So you know exactly what type of actions I'm going to take on both of these trades in what cases. So let's Take a look on what happened within the last 24 hours. First of all, on the weekly time frame, nothing has really changed. We still got rejected of the weekly EMA ribbons. This weekly candle here is still open for another five days. So on the weekly time frame, we still want to see a weekly candle closing above the weekly EMA ribbons because besides that, otherwise we can always see a sell-off within the last day of the week, for example, and close this weekly candle below the EMA ribbon. So on the weekly time frame, there's nothing really to look out for at the moment. Also, a dead cat bounce scenario is um, not really important for a very long time. 50 to $55,000, that would be the area where a dead cat bounce on the weekly time frame could happen. So also this is very far away and nothing we have to worry about yet. But on the smaller time frame, there is the action there on the smaller time frames the action is happening and what i wanted to tell you and what i showed you already in my last video as you maybe remember is that for a confirmed bullish scenario now for bitcoin where we can expect for example here this big potential i want to um, zoom a little bit in that you can see it better especially if you're watching from the mobile phone we we have this potential massive head and shoulders pattern here on the uh, daily time frame right the breakout target of this massive uh, potential inverse head and shoulders pattern is completely crazy it's actually at $75,000 so we have very big potential here as soon as we break above the $44,800 level pretty much with a confirmed daily candle closing above it. Now, the only thing that is still in our way, and I've talked about this within my last videos over and over again, is not only this horizontal resistance here at the $44,800 level, but especially on the smaller timeframes, we need to keep an eye on, I'm going to show you that in a second. First, I wanted to switch here to the smaller time frames also to show you something. Um, we have to keep in mind that, yes, we saw now this explosive move, right? Um, we, we, we discussed it in the last video where we saw because of the volume and the Bollinger Bands, we, we very clearly saw that Bitcoin was preparing and squeezing together with even volume increasing, was preparing for its next big move. This next big move happened. It was to the upside, which is very, very positive, guys. As you guys know, even though I, I opened a short hedge trade, I did that because I have a big long position. I have a big hodling portfolio. So I'm making Bitcoin, but also dollar profit when we are pumping to the upside. It was just in preparation for a dump because if we see a dump, I don't want to be exposed with my HODL portfolio, losing US dollar value, 
plus only having a long position where I then maybe potentially also lose some Bitcoin. For this reason, I opened a short hedge position that can work against these potential losses if this massive explosive price move would have happened to the downside. Now, keep in mind, guys, what I said in the last video. I told you that it's very important that we don't see a dead cat bounce here. And what is a dead cat bounce or when do we know a dead cat bounce is not happening? A dead cat bounce is actually not happening realistically if we break above the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. And you can already see Bitcoin is about to do that. We are exactly at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. But interestingly enough, exactly at the 6 618 uh, Fibonacci retracement level, this is the first time where Bitcoin is getting some resistance. Going here on the smaller time frames, you can see Bitcoin is struggling a little bit to break above this 0.61 Fibonacci retracement level. Still, it is looking good. We are forming somewhat of a bull flag here. So the chances of us breaking here the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level to the upside are definitely higher than the bulls not achieving this breakout. And this is why I placed my stop loss for this short position at exactly $44,750. This is the price level. If we reach that, I will just exit the short position to um, be sure that I don't lose too much US dollars, right? It's a very small position. As you, as I told you in my last video, a, a maximum loss of $30,000 would be something uh, that I would take here into account with my short trade. Um, everything more than that, I think, is just unnecessary risk because... If we now break above the 0.618 and we also see a daily candle closing then above the $44,800 level, I mean, there's just no denying that for now Bitcoin has definitely some more upside potential all the way up to the fifty to $55,000 level because what is happening there again, I mean, a dead cat bounce can happen on the one hourly, a dead cat bounce can happen on the daily, but especially guys, what is going to be interesting for the general market here or for the long-term uh, vision or for the long-term price predictions that we can do here for Bitcoin, will be for sure that we don't see a dead cat bounce on the weekly time frame, right? That we don't see a dead cat bounce here on the weekly time frame. I mean, this is the this is the final last thing that I, I, I'm keeping an eye on before I can 100% turn bullish again, before I would start opening multi-million dollar long positions again, right? Scaling the long position up that we have open right now. This is the scenario where, where I'm actually a little bit careful still because even if we now reach the price target of the uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern, we pump to 50, $55,000 levels. We have to keep in mind that also dead cat bounce can still happen here on the weekly time frame. But this is not a reason for me not to be in a long position, in a swing long position right now. This is also not a reason for me to touch any of my long-term Bitcoin hodling portfolio, which I'm not touching anyways at prices below $100,000. That's 100% sure. So let's keep an eye on the Bitcoin price. I think we have a good chance within the next 24 hours to make it happen, to um, make this weekly candle become more bullish and especially to break above the weekly EMA ribbons and close a weekly candle above it. Because like I said, it's always possible that on the last day of the week, the Bitcoin price suddenly dumps aggressively and we close this weekly candle below. So we for sure want to see a weekly candle really closing above the weekly EMA ribbons before we scale up our long positions once again. But also guys, if we close a daily candle above the 44,800, which means we successfully um, we successfully confirmed that this dead cat bounce, this potential dead cat bounce is not happening. I will already scale up my long position. I will not double it, but I will put probably like 50% on top of it. So I will scale it up to around $600,000. But let's say, wait and see what happens. We are not confirmed through the 0.618 yet. So that cat bounce is still in the room of possibilities, although it is right now definitely lower than the potential of a break to the upside. We are, as always, prepared for all scenarios. If you enjoyed the video, guys, smash up a like. Thank you for all of you guys' support. Keep an eye on these important price levels so you don't get wrecked. And besides that, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, and then we are going to see us in the next one. Till then, bye. Bye.